Uh, you probably saw Rich talk about Project Hydrazine and about building these services. There are a couple of cool things I want to kind of share with you guys. We're going to try to go through this a little bit faster. A lot of cool stuff still to show here. Uh, so what, what is Project Hydrazine? So it is fundamentally a developer services ecosystem. You know, you are able to build, create, and deploy services, uh, contextual, personalized services. What is cool is developers can go in and they can find these services, merge them together, deploy them, and if they want to, go, go ahead and share them. Uh, I want to right now you know, introduce Bernard, uh, Director of Engineering for Project Hydrazine. We're going to go through this a little quickly. So let's go and build a service. Yes. So uh, what, we, what I'm showing you here is, you know, the ability to rapidly create, you know, web services that are basically blended and deliver to you, you know, customized uh, services. So uh, what I have here, it is, you know, a calendar that basically will be used to extract, you know, calendar information and then a weather service. And what I really want to do it is to be able to extract calendar information, blend it with the weather information so I can do a travel forecast and deliver this blended service. Okay. Can you show your calendar? Yeah, of course, yeah. So where it is? It is here. So these are basically your events about That's places one. that you're actually visiting and your weather service will, so you're, you're building a model by which you'll find out what places it is and weather service will give you the weather for that. Exactly, yeah. Right. And, and you're interviewing somewhere. Yeah, well, just in case his demo doesn't go, but hopefully it will do well. I think he needs to start now. <laughs> All right. So, so here what you have it is, you know, the business logic. Uh -huh. And as you know, when you are building, you know, those blended services, you know, the hard part it is to combine data. Mm -hmm. And one of, one of the nice things about the NetBean, you know, OpenESB, which is part of the Glassfish, you know, ecosystem that Bob and, and Rich talked talk this morning, it is to easily, you know, visualize and create, you know, the data masher. Okay. So here you have a data mapper, which is in, in some way the other part of building those services. And what you can do it is you can bind those data you know, visually, in a very simple manner, right? And can you, then what do you do? Do you Then generate? basically, you know, you build, uh -huh. you know, you build the project, and from there, now, now that I created, you know, the back end, I can go and look at, you know, at the front end. So I just started to build, you know, the client, so, client side yes. that would basically, you know, you know, connect to this back end service. Okay. And this uh, back end service could be done in, in Lewitt or in JavaFX. Exactly. So can we see? Uh, okay. So now, so now the key part is how do you connect both of yes, them, the of client course. and the server side? So what I do it is, you know, I go there and select, you know, the way to bring, you know, this wisdom that I just, you know, generated from the uh, service compositions. The mouse is, is the mouse is not slow. responsive. All right. Here we go. And then we'll so at this point, these. you can see that you know all the basically the classes, the client class, you know, mm -hmm. generated to be able to connect to the service. So can we see it on a on a So let me device? show. Let me show this. You know, the service running on the phone. So here we have you know the the client framework for Project Hydrazine, which is running on the phone. So we have a carousel, you know, of services. So let me select you know the weather service. Select the menu, I'm going to go to my travel forecast, do a select, and basically ah. I get my locations. Okay, and so this is great on the phone, but the whole idea of Project Hydrazine is to actually go in and display multiple devices on the desktop and somewhere else too, right? Exactly. So what I'm showing you it is basically the same network services that we can access from the desktop. So I have an FX in a widget that I can use, as well as on uh, on the Java you know media system, which is a set-top box providing you know IPTV access, and that's basically you know the live video. And what I can do it is you can see the carousel information that I have. I can go and access and browse the same services. Okay. So one of the things that I want to kind of do is you know we want to just like we want to make it easier for people to build client applications with JavaFX. Uh, we want to be able to help people build services very, very quickly. Can we do something for the content authors? Exactly. So, and that's a big part about Project Hydrazine, yeah. which is, you know, so what, what we are thinking it is how we can enable more than just today's developer, but basically the user of those phones, which are more than, you know, two, three billion people and make them developer. So we have created, you know, this service creator content creations. So I started to fill up, you know, some of the information you know, I'm going to create a service, Bernard World, so I name my service. Then what I do it is I select, you know, a screen template, which is basically the look and feel of this service that basically will be on my phone. 
Then I go down, and now basically what I have, I have a content palette. You know, and, and you can see that you know, this RSS feed that I'm getting, you know, when I move the mouse, I'm getting exactly you know, the type of content I'm seeing you know, on, on these things. So what I can do it is basically dra drag and drop you know, content okay. you know, moving forward. Okay, so let me go and build you know, the service. So I go to the title, I can drop. I get the title here. I get the publication day here. Publication date here. So this is how easy we are trying to make it so you can build services. If you're an app developer that's using JavaFX and you want to, a certain kind of a service and you want to build it very quickly, this is how easy it will be uh, as we roll this thing out again. This is going to come uh, over the next year. That's what we're trying to go in and, and, and do. So I just, built, I just built these services and you could see that you know, the data was live as I was moving and creating the service. Now I'm going to log in on my service plan. So this is basically the plan where I can personalize my services on the phone. So right now I have five services. So what I show you here, it is that this is basically the same services that we're running on my phone. That's exactly the same icon that you can see. So what I'm going to do it is with a very simple drag and drop, I'm going to drop you know, this new service that I just created on my phone and do a live provisioning. That's it. So I change basically the definition of services. I'm going to go to my phone and just do a refresh of services. I come to this one. So, so what is happening right now is basically these services that he has just created on the web somewhere. He's able to provision it for his phone and from the home. Now we are going in and uh, downloading this new service. And if uh, network connection stuff is working, this will all show up in a few. And that basically, you know, that's where you know you can use this time to do you know target advertisement. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you know what really happened. It is that the phone is connecting, and you can see the the icon of the new service. You know, just show up on my phone, yeah. and I can start basically to go and retrieve data from the service. Absolutely. Thank you very much. No problem. Oh, sure. Uh, okay. So we have left something very cool for you guys here this uh, the end